Hello, it's Chinero Anu here. In this video, we are going to be looking at how to convert pure salts to mixed salts and then convert mixed salts to pure salts. So without further ado, let's start learning. Now uh, let's take a look at these examples. In example one, we have a pure salt. If you remember in our previous um, video, that's an introduction to salts. If you've not watched that, it's important you take a look at that. Because I already said that when you have a pure salt, it's simply um, a salt that contains only one rational number. They don't ever have more than one rational number. So in this case, we have 32. So how do we convert this to a mixed salt? If you need to convert this to a mixed salt, there are two conditions that must be met. The first condition is this. You need to ensure that you get two factors. And one of the factor is a perfect square, all right? Two factors of 32 and one is a perfect square. So let's get started by outlining. Let's list out the possible factors of 32. We have 16 times 2 and we have 4 times 8. Now, if you take a look at this um, example, you're going to notice something. We have 16 is a perfect square and 4 is a perfect square too. And we simply need only one set. We just need one of these. We can go with the two. So the second condition I'm going to talk about now is going to determine which one we choose. The second condition is this. You need to ensure that the one that is not a perfect square cannot be further simplified. The one that is not a perfect square cannot be further simplified. What do I mean? Look at this. We have two, okay? Two cannot be further simplified, okay? When you have two, it's just simply two. But look at this. We have eight here. We can further simplify eight, though it's not a perfect square. By the time you say four times two, you're going to get eight. So that means we, we are going to go with this. This is the right one we are to go with. So these are the factors we need to change this to a mixed salt. So we are going to have the root of 16 times 2, okay? So you can see this is still the same. When you say 16 times 2, you get 32. Then the next thing we are going to do, since we have 16 times 2, is still equals to root 16 times root 2. Is equals to root 16 times root 2. By the time we do this, we are going to have What's the square root of 16? It is 4. And then we have root 2. You can see that we cannot further simplify 2, okay? So we stop here. So our answer becomes 4 root 2. So this is our answer. Now let's take a look at the second example. In the second example, let's try to figure out the possible factors of 80. We have um, 2 times 40. We have... 5 times 16 and we have 8 times 10. So remember the first condition says that we need two multiples and one must be a perfect number and the other should not be a perfect number. Now if you look at this, let's try to fish out the perfect number, the one that has a perfect number is this one. In this case we only have one that has a perfect number. So it even makes things easy for us. So we are going to be working with this. And if you take a look at this, the second condition states that we need to ensure that the number that is not a perfect number cannot be further simplified. If you look at five, you know that it cannot be further simplified. So we are going to pick this, okay? So in picking it, we are going to have root 16 times 5, okay? We have root 16 times 5, and then this is t equals to, we break it down, this is the same as saying root 16 times root 5, okay? By the time you have root 16 times root 5, you're going to have, what is the square root of 16? The square root of 16 is 4, so we're going to have 4 root 5. It's absolutely easy, guys. Let's just pay attention. So we've done two examples. Let's take one more example on this. So here we have um, root 9, 98. How do we convert this? Just like the previous examples, 
we need two numbers one a perfect square and the second not a perfect square and the second one that is not a perfect square should not be further simplified we need to ensure that it cannot be further sim simplified so i'm not going to go writing out the possible factors i just did the previous one so we could have understanding so i'm going to be giving it out so we have 49 and 2 okay 49 and 2 these are the two factors this can also be written as the square root of 49 times the root of 2 okay the, the root of 49 times the root of 2 so what's the square root of 49 the square root of 49 gives us 7 so we have 7 root 2 so this is it on converting pure sorts to mixed sorts how about converting mixed sorts back to pure sorts how do we go about that let's look at these examples so let's take a look at this first example we can see we have a mixed sort here okay we have a root combined with a rational number that's what a mixed sort is so how do we go about solving this if we need to convert this mixed sort to a pure sort here's the first step the first thing we do we are going to find the square of root 5 okay so we're going to have 5 square and then we find the root okay so square of root 5 times root 3 now what's the square of 5 the square of 5 is 25 so we have root 25 times root 3 so now that we've gotten this it's still equals to this remember the multiplication rule when you have root b times root c it still gives you a combination of um, b times c so that's exactly what's occurring here so we are still going to have 25 times 3 okay and by the time we say 25 times 3 we are going to have 75 so we are going to have 75 and that gives us our answer so you can see that this is now a pure sort we have succeeded in converting 5 root 3 to a pure sort so we have root 75 how about this one we are still going to do the same thing in this one let's first of all start with this rational number we are going to have the square of 8 all right then the root times root 2 then the next thing what's the square of 8 the square of 8 is 64 we have the square of 8 as um, 64 so we have root 64 times root 2 so now that we have root 64 and root 2 what we simply do according to the multiplication rule we combine them so we are going to have 64 times 2 by the time we multiply 64 times 2 we are going to have root 1 28 it's absolutely easy guys so we have succeeded converting pure sorts to mixed sorts and then while in this example we succeeded in converting mixed sorts back to pure sorts so this is how we go about solving them so here's a quick one just an easy exercise i'd like you guys to try out and when you do you can leave your answers in the comment section i'll be responding to them one Convert the following sorts to mixed sorts. The first one is um, root 135, and the second is root 150. So quickly do this and let me know what you have in the comment section. I want to know how well you've understood this topic. So that is it for today. So if you got value from this video, hit that like button. Do hit the subscribe button if you've not subscribed. Turn on the notification bell. Share with friends and loved ones. And don't you forget, math can be easy. I love to see you in the next class. Thanks for watching.